Job searching is a marketing project. Your resume is a marketing document. It is marketing you to employers the same way that a product is marketed to the marketplace. As with any marketing project, you must choose your words carefully. There are certain words that should be avoided when writing a resume because they can have a negative impact on your employment prospects. While it's important to use strong and powerful words in your resume, there are definitely some words that you should avoid. If you're new to my job search training videos, now would be a fabulous time to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I post a video about improving results of your job search to get you hired rapidly in your dream job. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear about what obstacles you encounter in your job search so I can help guide you through the job search process to get you hired rapidly. While it's important to use strong and powerful words in your resume, there are some words that you should avoid. These words can make your resume sound weak, unimpressive, less qualified, or inexperienced. Here are 10 words to watch out for. Experienced. This word can often be used to describe someone who has been in the workforce for a long time, which may not be applicable to you if you're a recent graduate. Leader. If you don't have any leadership experience, Using this word can make your resume seem unrealistic. Hard worker. Everyone wants to seem like they work hard, but this phrase doesn't really tell the employer anything about your qualifications. Team player. Similar to the hard worker phrase, this one doesn't really offer any information about your skills or experience, and it really is subjective. Organize. This is a quality that every employer wants in their employees but it's not something that you can necessarily show in your resume. Again, it's a subjective term. Multitasker. Again, this is a skill that every employer wants, but it's difficult to show in your resume. Also, a multitasker might have negative connotations that you cannot focus on one task. Self-starter. This term can be used to describe someone who is motivated and takes initiative. But again, your definition of a self-starter will be different than another person. Go-getter. Another term that employers are looking for, but this sounds just a little too desperate. Problem solver. If you had any experience solving problems in previous jobs, that's great, but you need to back it up with examples. Detail-oriented. This is another quality that every employer wants in their employees. However, don't tell me that you're detail-oriented on your resume. Show me. By avoiding these words, you'll make your resume more appealing to employers and increase your chances of getting hired. To help you stand out from the crowd and grab a recruiter's attention, I've created a list of great words to use on your resume. The link for this free downloadable document can be found in my video description. If you found value in this training today, let me know below with a like, comment, or question. I'm always in the comments answering questions about your job search. Remember to subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you thought of someone who would benefit from hearing this message today, please share this video with them. My goal is to share these recruiting insider secrets to teach job seekers how to market themselves to employers, increasing their chances of getting noticed and hired rapidly. You'd have my endless gratitude for that, and your friends will thank you for sharing resources with them to become employed. This is Eileen Ryan from Pounding Pavement 101.